हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स यू वन स्टॉप फॉर लर्निंग ऑल द मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स एंड दोज अमेजिंग फैक्ट्स इन मैथमेटिक्स व्हिच विल सरप्राइज यू एंड यू कैन एंजॉय दिस ब्यूटी ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कांसेप्ट दैट इज द कांसेप्ट ऑफ फाइंडिंग द नंबर पैटर्न्स इन द क्लॉक टाइमिंग्स एंड द कैलेंडर्स there are so many different number patterns which you will be surprised to know when you start thinking about the times during a 12 hour period and a 24 hour period and the calendars are amazing you know the dates uh, they often surprise you and you must be getting so many messages on or the social media you know this date is so special mathematically so we will look into that concept today and uh, what's the entire video you know you need to uh, have a thorough knowledge of these number patterns in clocks and calendars number patterns in a clock so we all know clock has the numbers from uh, 1 2 3 4 up to 12 right and those times which you see throughout the 12 hour period they have some special patterns now the first type of pattern is all digits same so all digit same means when you write the time every digit is same like 1 11 1 am or 1 pm i am talking about a 12 hour time format so 1 11 likewise 2 22 3 33 4 44 5 55 and we don't have a 666 right because 66 minutes is not valid time after that we directly have the repetition in 11 11 that is 1 1 1 so how many times it is only six times during a 12 hour period that you get all digits same in the time likewise same number repeating that means whatever is the hours the same number is in the minutes like you have a 0101 that is 1 1 like 1 minute past 1 am or 1 minute past 1 pm so 0 1 0 likewise you can move on and on 0 2 0 2 0 3 0 3 0 4 0 4 0 5 0 5 up to up to 12 12 see so how many times do you think we will get the same uh, number before uh, that means in hours and in minutes it is 12 times in a 12 hour period likewise you have some times which are palindromic in nature palindromic means when you read it from the left to right or you read it from the right to left it will look like the same like you have a palindromic time like 0 1 10 so 10 minutes past 1 pm that is 0 1 10 I read it from this side and read it from this side you will see that the time is same so how many such times are there you can have to replace 1 by 2 so 0 2 then 20 minutes here 0 3 and 30 minutes here 0 4 and 40 minutes 0 5 and 50 minutes now i can't write 0 6 and 60 minutes because 60 minutes is uh, you know you don't write 60 minutes right and after that what palindrome we are going to obtain is this number 11 11 because that also reads the same from the left to right and from the right to left and similarly we have another time 12 21 that is also a valid palindromic time and finally we have the 1 minute past 10 that is 10 01 which forms a palindrome so how many times this happens in a 12 hour period it happens exactly 8 times so you can see such beautiful patterns such beautiful numbers obtained on the face of a clock when you consider a 12 hour period some of them are all digits are same some of them the same numbers they repeat and then some of them are palindromic numbers likewise when you think about a calendar you know calendar has very very amazing properties 
and some of them I'm going to take up here in this video. First is when you obtain a date of this form. AB is the date. This is the date AB. CD is the month and ABCD is the year. So date and month gives you ABCD and then year also gives you the same thing ABCD. So are there any dates like this? So if I tell you some of them, I have taken only the 21st century, like the years which come after 2000. So after 2000, in 2001, see 2001 is the year, so 20 date and 01 month, that means 20th January 2001 gave us a date in this form ABCD, ABCD, 2001, 2001. So how many times do you think this will happen in a particular century? Can we replace the 1 by 2 here? So if you replace the 1 by 2, 20th February 2002, 20th March 2003 and then 20th April 2004. Similarly, you can carry on like this and at the end you will get 20th December 2012. And so how many times in a century, in the particular century, you are going to get this kind of a date ABCD, ABCD. It is 6 plus 6, 12 times this is going to happen in a century. Now, can you guess some more dates like this which happened before the uh, beginning of the year 2000? Like in the years which start with 19. So, can we do a 19, 0, 1, and in 1901 year, can you list all these years, all these dates uh, in which you got a particular date in the form ABCD, ABCD? Just let me know in the comments here, did you get some more dates or are there only 12 dates in a particular century like this? Okay, let's see another number pattern, very, very interesting. Now this is a palindromic date. That means you read it from the left to right, or from right to left, you get the same thing A, B, C, D, D, C, B, A. Now, look at the number of dates we have written here. And this is not all. There are huge number of combinations of obtaining the palindromic dates A, B, C, D, D, C, B, A. Okay. So, if you start with the year 1001, and I have listed it up to 2031 and this is not a comprehensive complete list. You can even find so many different more dates on which you have a palindrome. Like here we have 1001. So if you separate this out, 1001, 10th January 1001 was a palindromic date. You read it from the left to right, 1001. From the right hand side, 1001. Likewise, in 1002 year, you got this date 20th January 1002 and then 30th January 1003. These three dates were the palindromic dates when it comes to the year 1001, 1002, 1003. After that, you have some dates here, see, 1010. So, 1st January 1010. Read it from the other side, 0101. 1010. So this is a palindromic date after this year 1003 and then 1011, 1020, 1021, 1030, 31, 40, 41, likewise up to 90, 91. You have so many different palindromic dates which fell in the month of January itself. You can see because here we have 10, so here we should have a 01. And that is why they are all dates in January. Likewise, if you go into the 21st century, then 20 will be the, year, the uh, first two numbers here in the year. So it is bound to have 0, 2 here. So all the dates will be in February. And likewise, you can work out so many different combinations and in which you will get a palindromic date. This is not a comprehensive list. This is a suggestive list where we have given an idea where you can, you know, how to get to those palindromic dates. So we have lots and lots of combinations. 
I would appreciate if you tell me in the comments here, did you find some more combinations like this which works and uh, it will be so nice to read your comments and see how many palindromic dates could you list starting from maybe 1000, the year 1000 up to any future year up to maybe 3000. Try that out and do share this video with all your friends who are interested in such interesting, amazing mathematics facts. Do like this video and as soon as you click the like button, you will get the hype option. So try to hype the video so that you know uh, it has more chances of reaching to those students who are interested in such beautiful mathematical concepts. So friends, thanks for watching this video and all the best for finding those palindromic dates.